with the Russian grannies at the end. Well, um, first of all, the answer to the first question is um, um, I believe it's, it's a still, it was the best performance that I had ever been on. So it's performing with my grandmother it was, it was the most um, emotional performance for me. Um, she's a very great lady. She's, she, she has a wonderful heart. She's a, she's a very special, special person. And it was a great honor for me to perform with her on the stage. And, uh, and, and I believe that I'm very lucky to have given the chance to uh, perform with my grandmother in front of the Estonian audience. I think that it's, it was a chance that not everybody gets. So I was, I was, I was, I was, I, I am very lucky to, to have had that experience. And, uh, and uh, my grandmother, what can I say? But, um, but, I mean, you were really into it with the, with, with the Russian, with, with the Russian? With the Danish guy. Uh, well, why not? <laughs> they're great, they're great, and uh, uh, I can't say, you know, let's, let's see what the future brings. Uh, you know, I keep my fingers crossed with them, you know, they're great, so it's, uh, you know, no, 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 no. Thank you. Next question is Channel Sango. Did you say? It's uh, Garish Model from EurasianArtist.com and ESCFashionOnTop.com. And firstly, congratulations today on a wonderful vocal and uh, visual show. You seem to have a full package there, it's really, really good today. Um, it's been one of, your song has been one of my favourites since I saw it performed months ago. And um, I know that in the national final, it was a longer song and it had to be shortened for Eurovision. Did you find that a challenge and did it actually take you some time to see what part would we take out and how would we manage that? Well, yes, it's the original song was, uh, was actually um, released uh, on the album, uh, on, on my second album, which came out in November of uh, 2011. And uh, yes, um, the longer version is like, it's, it's about four minutes and thirty seconds long and we had to like shrink it to three minutes. It was a quite it, it, it was a it, it was a difficult challenge actually uh, uh, I was I was, I was um, thinking a lot, you know what part should I say at, you know what what part should I leave at and stuff like that. But unfortunately I have um, my vocal teacher Michael who uh, actually did a very good job cutting the song and uh, I believe that thanks to her, the song is, uh, is, uh, sounds the way it sounds today, so it's, it's all thanks to her. Great. Questions? Yes, lady. Mm -hmm. Still, the next one we did in Baku. 
because like they are proposed to do the to the jazz essentially to uh, make the sort of performance because in a way um, what's in music you are serious also to sort of this more academic uh, setting. Great. Um, questions? Yes, gentlemen. Said something about uh, the music that you introduce use. yourself. Sorry. I'm sorry. Introduce yourself. Oh, uh, sorry. I'm talking about this. this okay. um, you, you just uh, said something about the music in Europe is getting more and more mainstream. Um, is this a song uh, for you? Um, the fact that you choose this um, is it? A, is it a choice that? Um, do you want to bring originality back to the Eurovision Song Contest with your song? Well, it was chosen by Elvis oh, yeah. and uh, Sistonians and uh, well, we can also replay that. I would, I would say that uh, I think this particular song is timeless in that sense that it's really, I mean, it could have been written uh, in, in, in 1920 or somewhere, or maybe it could uh, something like that would be written in 3047 or something. I mean, this is what proper piece of music is, uh, timeless and beautiful. And uh, in, in that sense, yes, we are bringing this little piece of authentic authenticity, or however it is, uh, back to the origin. And uh, we are also trying to keep a quite low scale on, on the uh, uh, performance side as well. So the music speaks for itself. Yes. Because, you know, I, I, got, uh, I, I wrote this song about two years ago, so. So my goal wasn't was to, I, I didn't wrote the song from the original, it was just uh, an idea, a song that was born, just uh, when things happened, it was born, uh, it was born uh, for instance, I was, I, was, uh, I was in my studies at the time music college when the, the song was born, so, so it wasn't initially planned uh, you know, to send to the original, but, but at the last moment we, we thought, you know, why not, why not try it? Yeah, it was a very nice moment. So, um, and to our luck, the song won the guest level, and, uh, and now is, we have a, a great opportunity to, uh, to perform it in Baku. So it's, it's uh, I'm very lucky. And then, actually, uh, <coughs> to confirm my, uh, myself a little bit, um, yes, it's a funny piece, but then again, I personally think of it as a song that we need in modern because it's not a typical love song, it's not actually a love song at all because you could think of any dialect as a love song but this is not a love song and what it speaks about for me or maybe for you as well is that we have to kind of start to notice again the basic and uh, for the human thing is like simple things in life that are often, you know, like like, yeah, unseen like that's, that's it's something that comes from Mars. Yeah. It's more of, a, more of a coincidence that you bring this song out to the Eurovision. Do you now also feel like a sort of ambassador for authenticity in the Eurovision? Or is this too much? Um, I don't think myself as an ambassador, but it's, it's, um, it's basically, yeah, but it, well, if, if we speak about the song, the song was, uh, was, uh, was, you know, the idea of sending it to Estonian Eurovision, you know, it, it became very spontaneous and basically it was the last day and we had like 30 minutes, uh, you know, until the, until the deadline. And, uh, and then Mike and said, you know, that maybe this would be a great song to, to send, you know, just to try. And, um, and, and so we did, and, 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 and here we are. Yes, thank you. Next question. Yes, over here. Hello, I'm um, Desiree Pitel from the Artist Artists from the Netherlands. Um, I have two questions for you. My first question is, what are your impressions after this first rehearsal? Uh, my impressions are great. I was, uh, I must confess, I was a little bit nervous, so I, I've never been uh, I've never been uh, on such a big stage, I've never been performed in such a big hall, in front of such a big audience, it's, it's, it's really my first time. 
Um, so I was, I was a bit, I was a bit nervous about the rehearsal, but but I must say that I felt great on stage, and the sound was great, and uh, the review uh, after the rehearsal we we, uh, we reviewed, you know, pictures of the guys, uh, and I'm, I'm very satisfied, and, and I'm looking forward to uh, to the next rehearsal.